Hello everyone, this video is a little bit different from the previous ones. I'm running a giveaway for the first time on this channel. If you want to get a chance to win the giveaway, watch to the end of this video, you will know the amount and how to qualify for the giveaway. So now let's get started. So I was contacted by this beautiful lady, Chinnery, I'm really sorry if I didn't pronounce it correctly, to review her profile and see what to improve. First, I would say congratulations on getting the Rising Talent badge. And you're doing a great job on the profile overall for someone who's new and upward. So the photograph is professional, you have the friendly smile, light background, the title is what it should be, virtual assistant. You offer virtual assistant services, so that's what is expected unless you specialize in certain area, let's say e-commerce, and you only do Shopify or Amazon and so on. The hourly rate is okay for now, and you can start increasing your rates you, when you have three five-star reviews or more. It is important to update the availability to date. In this case, I assume you're working, um, I assume you're available on a full-time basis, and but make sure to update it if you can't do many hours a week. And also set your profile to private if you plan to have a break from Upwork. So let's move on to the description. Here you wrote, um, are you experiencing difficulties completing your everyday tasks in your business? Do you need help to reduce some of the workload on your shoulders? And so on. These two paragraphs are a good start. I like the way you focus on the client's problems they may be facing instead of your experience or what you have or, or yourself in general. That's a really good start. Now here you include your services and you could write the services in a form of list so it's easier to read. Same goes for the tools and software you use make them in a list and add bullet points. Now here you say, I'm open to working with you. I'm a results driven, detail oriented, and I love learning. I would remove the first sentence. I'm open to working with you. Um, this can be added at the end with a CTA or call to action. It's too early to say that. And the second sentence can be added to the skills section, probably at the end. Now here, is your call to action and it comes before the um, set of list of skills but I would include it at the end so place it at the end of the of your profile description for the skills I would add the hard skills first usually that's what the client is interested in first then add the soft skills last the hard skills are simply the skills specific to each job but the soft skills are the common skills needed for almost any job for example, fast learner, problem solver, good communicator, and so on. Here to help you out, I reorganize the skills on your list, starting by the hard skills. So the hard skills in this case are data entry, web, web research, lead generation, accounting skills, and so on. And then the soft skills are outstanding customer service, excellent written and verbal communication, a team player, fast learner, and so on. Now let's move on. Here you have a five-star review, but without any words. I assume you closed the contract yourself and gave the feedback first. I might be wrong, but it seems to be the case. Because from my experience as a, as a client, I couldn't close any contract without adding at least a single word review. Anyway, if it is the case, I advise you and everyone watching this video to ask the client to give you a review with words, obviously especially if you know the client was happy with your work. In this case, you get a, the five-star review with some positive words and it will help you to get more clients. But in some cases, it's better for the freelancer to close the contract themselves. For example, if you know the client was not happy with your work and they paid you, but they left the contract open. In this case, it's better to close it yourself as a freelancer. If you keep asking an unsatisfied client, to give you a review, obviously they will give you a negative one or ignore your request. In other cases, the client is new to Upwork and don't even know how to close a contract or not even aware of this feature. I had many clients who paid me and left the contract open and this hurts the GSS. If you want to know more about GSS score, check this channel for the GSS score video. Now let's have a look at your portfolio. Good that you have some examples of past work. Well done on writing a descriptive title and a description. The description is very clear and the client here understands 
what was the project about, and you have a good number of work examples, I would say, you should keep updating them when you have more work or more projects delivered. You have a good number of relevant skill, skill tags, and I had nothing to add to this part. Good that you have a certification here. Employment history is filled. And this helps the client understand the expertise and know more about your past work. And you can ask a previous boss or a colleague to write a positive testimonial for you to help you out. And this is especially relevant if you don't have enough five-star reviews yet. That's all for the profile. And now I think you have to work on your proposal writing skills to get more clients. So the giveaway will be $30. And if you want to qualify for the giveaway, watch the video, subscribe and write in the comments, I'm in the giveaway. Now back to the profiles reviews. I was contacted by this beautiful lady as well. I'm not, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce your name because I'm sure I will pronounce it wrong. I'm sorry about that. But this uh, successful freelancer reached top rated on Upwork and her question was why my GSS score is 91% and how can I increase it to 100%? Here's my answer to her. said so obviously the profile looks very good and you can optimize it a bit, rewrite the profile description in a way that focuses on the client and so on, the advice I always give. As for the GSS, 91 doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't affect your profile at all and you will get clients. But obviously, if you want to get it to 100%, here are the um, some of the things that you can try. Make sure all projects that you have in progress are active, means you are doing the work for the client now. If, you, if not, ask the client to close the contract. If you're confident, they will give you a good review. If things didn't go well with that client and you know they may give you less than five star review, it's better to close it yourself or close them. The, the project, I mean. Here, the second advice is, again, make I just emphasize on making sure that the client is 100% satisfied with your work before asking for a review, as they may leave you a good review, but a bad private feedback. I explained about the private feedback, that it counts more than the, the public review, and it affects your GSS. She said that she contacted those clients, previous clients, and they didn't um, reply to her request to close the contract and ask her if she can do it herself and I assume she did and obviously she kept getting projects and doing good work and delivering quality work and you can see here this is the actual profile now her GSS increased to 100% I'm happy for this lady and all the best for both of these freelancers and all of you watching these videos. Thank you for watching.